Hi, my name is Barbara Morgan, and I'm here to talk to you today about thimbleberries, Rubus parviflorus, and they are actually in the same genus as salmon berries. Um, they are an aggregate kind of a berry with little teeny droplets that are so teeny that they actually are just kind of velvety feeling. Um, the leaves of the plant, to start off with, are, are large. This is one of the smaller ones. You can see they get bigger, um, really quite big, bigger than my hand even. Um, they are really soft and kind of velvety feeling. So even before the plant has flowers that have come out or berries, you can tell that it is a thimbleberry plant just because how soft and velvety the leaves are. Um, they blossom with a fairly large white flower in the spring, and then they set on these whole nice little sprays of berries. Um, they ripen at different times. You can see this one is barely starting to grow. That one's growing pretty well. This one's starting to ripen a little bit. And that one is absolutely perfect. Um, the droplets are so teeny that they actually just kind of look like they have a velvety sort of an appearance. And as you can see, they fit very nicely on the tip of your finger just like a thimble would. Thus, thimbleberry is the common name for them. Um, people also call them trailing raspberries, and they are in the raspberry family. Um, they are a delightful berry. They're really one of my very favorite. They have a really bright, tart flavor, quite a lot of raspberry type flavor as well. Um, they stand up really well in a uh, baked dish with other things going on, um, like a custard and crust kind of a thing. Wonderful jamming berry. One of my favorite kinds of jam actually is the thimbleberry jam. So try them out. You're guaranteed to like them because they're tasty.